Hello and welcome back to Thermomix. My name is Chef Martin and it's great to have you with us again. Um, I've been doing Thermomix since 1994. The brand started in 1971 and this year we're celebrating, I think, 50 years of branding. Wow, so it's been a while that Thermomix has been on the market. All right, so a fantastic machine right here. Um, it's got lots of functions as you can see, okay? And it's always updating on its own. So it's a very intelligent machine, something we call smart at heart. So stick around because today we're going to be doing a thin crust pizza and we're doing a ricotta cheesecake ice cream just for you. Okay, let's start with our thin crust pizza. We'll have 500 grams of flour, olive oil, salt, sugar, instant yeast and water. That's how easy you can make a pizza. And then we'll run it on dough mode. And then you see how easy it is to knead a dough with the Thermomix 6, all right, or what we call the TM6. Okay, flour goes in, followed by the yeast. So always add all the dry ingredients as one. We don't need to mix it up because the TM6 is that good, followed by the water. Okay. And your olive oil. Okay. Put it down. And I like to do a 30 seconds reverse function on speed 2.5 just to mix up all the ingredients, right? Before it starts to throw everything in the air if you start the dough mode right away. Alright? Very simple 30 seconds. Okay, so the 30 seconds reverse prior to the dough knead function gives you already a dough like this, as you can see. All right, and now I will begin a two minute knead. Two minutes, that's all you need, all right? I call up the dough function, set my time. Now, if, you, if you've been using other mixers all your life, you will ask probably like, in two minutes, we do a knead for a dough. The TM is possible. Let's see. And off we go. Okay. We will even give you a sneak peek into how the TM or the thermal mix needs dough, if you can see. Yes. All right. <clears throat> All in. I have a little of olive oil left, which I will add in right there, so as not to waste the ingredients. And we're developing gluten in two minutes. How wonderful is that? All right. Um, once again, earlier on, we mentioned that the TM Thermomix 6 is smart at heart. So you're asking me, what's so smart about this machine? It says, ah, we do a constant update of functions. So every few months, you probably get a new function coming, an update of the operational system, all done by Wi-Fi internationally. So wherever you are in the world, you say, I buy it here in Singapore and you go somewhere else in the world, will it update? And it says, yes. Okay, that's the wonderful magic of the Thermomix. I've been using the Thermomix since 1994. I started with the TM21 and up to today, we're still using it to run restaurants, cook from home, um, pack food, everything that's so convenient for everyone. Okay, so that's the power of the Thermomix. So about 40 seconds left, okay. And as you can see, it's a wonderful dough. And after this, we will clean the Thermomix with a pre-clean function. Right? So you're saying, hmm, one of the worst things at, in the kitchen is to clean appliances after we use them for cooking or for bread kneading. Right? This will be an ease. I will show you what to do. Okay? Great. About 15 seconds left. Okay? And the dough is developing really, really nicely. And after this, we will just proof the dough for about one hour. And then we start to make our pizza dough. All right, thin crust pizza. There we are. Okay, let me show you this wonderful dough. Now, when you use any other mixers to make a dough, it sticks. You have to sit there. You have to time yourself. If you're not there, the dough over needs with the TM6. 
This is what you're looking at. Okay? Wonderful dough. Okay? Remove it. Touch up a handle. Turn it around. Wow. Look at that gluten already. Just after two minutes. Okay? Then you say, this is crazy. After two minutes, I will show you now what gluten is. All right? After two minutes, we have this amount of gluten from the TM6. Huh? I don't think any other machine can knead that fast and develop gluten for you that quickly. Okay? Look, after two minutes. Wonderful, huh? Wow. Okay? Great. Let's not waste the dough. Let's get it all out. Okay. So those of you who can't make bread or have never made bread ever, this is something for you, isn't it? Already like, mm, maybe I should get this because it's really easy. Now I'll pop some water in. Okay. Just to give you a rinse. Uh, just so that it's easier to clean out. That's why we call it a pre-clean function. We pop the lid back on. Okay. Go back to home. We'll call up the pre-clean function. Now, in, we have three stages. One is for dough, universal, and also one is for browning. So today, we're going to just let it pre-clean very quickly just to show you the pre-clean function, what you can do. All right, it will just take off. Meantime, I come back to the dough. As you can see, after two minutes, we have such a wonderful dough. All right. And we'll leave it here. And that's a pizza dough made in two minutes. Easy peasy with one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ingredients all in. Done. Okay, after the bulk fermentation, I've shaped it and we have about a 300 gram of dough here. We have wonderful semolina flour. Okay, if you don't want to use semolina flour, you can use any gluten-free flour like rice or tapioca starch, corn starch. Okay, I'm going to then put it on here. We're going to put all the garnish, put it on my wonderful plywood, which you can get from any hardware or art shop. And then we'll put it onto the preheated oven. Okay, great. So, now, let's just work it out. So you see a very well rested dough. Okay, the secret is to resting it at least an hour. Then you can stretch. Always use the back of your hand, especially for ladies. You all have long fingernails. Here I have a very nice thing which I can pull at the back of my hand. Okay, never pull from the center. Always pull from the side. Alright, as you can see, it stretches very easily. No tears. Alright. Huh? Okay. And for those of you who are not confident in using your hands, you can also use the rolling pin, just one direction always. Right? Never do this, always turn the pizza and then keep this direction. Okay, so we stretch it a little. Okay. Right. And then I would like to dock it. So the secret to having a thin crust pizza is to dock so that you release all the steam from the dough. Otherwise, the steam will cause the dough to rise. Right. As many holes as possible. And then we can apply the tomato sauce first, always the sauce first in the center. And then use the back of the spoon to help you spread. Okay, now don't be greedy, less is more, and keep about half an inch from the sides so that your fingers can hold the pizza. Okay, now if you want to do a white sauce, um, which is a cream base, because there's allergies with tomato, go right ahead. 
Okay, we have another white sauce here. This is actually the leftover from the cream of mushroom, which was made by the cookie dough recipe. Then you say, ah, I have a leftover about two, three tablespoons of mushroom cream of mushroom soup. What can I do? Thicken it a little, all right? With the thicken function, and then you can apply it, okay? Onto a, the pizza, okay? There we go. And then I want to have some with ricotta cheese. Okay. And then I have some vegetarian friends. All right. We're using the yellow and red capsicum so it gives you a nice color. And then we have some cherry tomatoes here. Now a great time to try all your pizzas making skill with the Thermomix 6. It's so easy, two minutes to make the dough, let it rest, turn it out. There you have a pizza, four different flavors. I had some uh, enoki mushrooms, which I want to top off here. Okay, and then we have some nice mozzarella cheese. The cheeses today, like ricotta and the mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, have been sponsored by Perfect Italiano. Mmm, wonderful. Okay, bueno, bueno, bueno. All right. So everyone loves the cheese. As far as I've been a chef, people always like cheese, so don't be stingy and really put everything in. Okay, and then we have this. So the oven's preheated. This is ready. So all we do is put it like this on the plywood. Okay. Get the oven going. Ah, easy peasy. Okay. So it sits in there for about 8 to 10 minutes, maximum power. Some of you will say, ah, my oven don't go up to whatever temperature. I always say, turn it up to the maximum, put it on a pizza uh, baking paper so it's easy if you have, load it on, otherwise bring the tray out, pull the whole baking sheet with the pizza onto your tray, load it in, set your timer on your phone, done. Okay, so as you can see, it's really easy to make a pizza. What all the wonderful things with the TM6 can do for you need dough, okay, make sauces, um, make soups, okay, um, cut up your vegetables, right, then everything that's left over from your previous cooking, um, just keep it and make a pizza and then there you go. Okay, welcome back and the pizza is just about done after eight minutes, we're going to open the oven and see what happens, okay, see how easy it is to make a wonderful pizza, wow. There we go, a homemade pizza. Remember, it was two minutes to knead the dough. Okay, and there we have it. All right, simple as that. Thermomix pizza, thin crust, whatever you want in it for your friends. Now, if you don't want to make a round one, you can also make a rectangle one, the shape of the side, the, the tray. And then after which you can individually flavor each row and then let people try it out in small pieces. Right, earlier on we did the thin crust pizza, now we're going to do a dessert for you in the Thermomix. Right? We're going to do a ricotta cheese all right, ice cream. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it in the Thermomix. First we are going to make like a custard and then we're going to freeze the custard for a few hours. You can either freeze it in ice cream cube trays or rather ice cube trays or a shallow like Tupperware box, okay? So, um, first of all, we have cream. The cream's been sponsored by Anchor. And then we have the ricotta, sponsored by Perfect Italiano. Sugar, uh, skim milk powder to give it some fluffiness, okay? And uh, just a tad bit of vanilla. And that's how easy it is to make a TM6 or Thermomix 6 ice cream. Let's begin. Okay, first we have the milk here, or the, rather the cream. 
right. Then we'll put in our sugar. Then we put in our skim milk powder. Then we put in our wonderful ricotta. Now, those of you um, who said, I don't really like ricotta, what else can I use? You can also use cream cheese. For Malaysian viewers, you may use Anchor cream cheese as a substitute, as perfect Italiano ricotta cheese is not available. All right, so it's a really healthy one. And then just a little vanilla here to finish off for that wonderful flavor. Okay. Now we're not going to cook this, but we're just going to warm it up to about 70 degrees. So I'll pick first 70 degrees. And then you will ask me, how long will the Thermomix take to reach 70 degrees? I would say about two minutes. Okay. There we are. Let's use speed three, All right? So like we said, you can use cream. If it's too fatty for you, you want something healthier, you can use normal milk, right? Um, and then for the cheese, we're using ricotta today. You can also use cream cheese, um, mascarpone. Can we use yogurt? I would say yes, okay? Um, basically, any form of dairy you can use, right? It gives you, it's just a matter of how much fat is in the dairy and then how creamy, uh, how such a creamy taste you would get. All right. So we also have um, digestive cookies, which I've broken up. You can also use the Thermomix to break this up. And I'm giving it a very rough breakage, right? Nothing too fine. And we made some strawberry jam before. So these are the leftover strawberries, which I very quickly um, added some cornstarch to thicken, which we will both use as garnish um, for the ricotta. Yeah, so that's simple. All right, so as you can see, within a minute or so, it's already reached 40 degrees. That's how fast the TM6 heats up, okay? So within probably about two minutes, we'll get up to 70 degrees. Um, now, what else can we do with the Thermomix? Um, wow, you can thicken sauces. You can make fruit sorbets with no added sugar, all right, with mangoes, any of the heavy fruits. Um, mangoes, pineapple, um, bananas, a good one, right? Just freeze the fruit in cubes, like larger cubes, put it in, and then after that, just blend it up about 30 seconds to a minute, and then you can enjoy your own fruit sorbet. All right, so any of the fruits, you can also add dairy to it, like yogurt, cream, milk, to make it an even more wonderful, tasty, rich flavor. All right, so with 24 seconds left, we are almost at 70 degrees. Okay, this is just to milk, uh, just to melt, sorry, the sugar, All right? Then we will extend just a little so that it reaches the temperature, okay? Now I'm going to blend it up at a faster speed. So we mix everything together. This is the power of Thermomix. You use one machine to create so many things. Earlier on, we made pizza and now we're making dessert. So if you have like this at home, you can entertain your friends from dinner all the way up to dessert. You can also make coffee. There is a coffee function or rather a boiling function. And there is also a safety function that after a certain point of time, the Thermomix will cool by itself and then tell you it's ready to be open. Okay, we are ready here. And now um, I'm going to get my ice cube trays where we will then pour the custard in. Okay, so now the custard is done. We're gonna add it into our ice cube tray. You can use basically any container you like. All right. There we go, very easily, because this is easier to take it out in cubes at the end after it's frozen for about six to eight hours. Okay, that's one. Da -da -da. Yeah, so there we go. All right, we've managed to fill and the remainder I will later on fill into another 
shallow container so that it frees faster. So you see, that's how easy it is to make like an ice cream base or ice cream custard that is egg free. All right, so you don't have to always have egg in your diet or egg in any of the products. And now I will send this off to the freezer for anywhere between six to eight hours, better if overnight. And then we'll just take it out and I will show you how to blend it into a creamy ice cream. And then we garnish with our strawberries and digestive biscuits. So while the custard base, the ice cream base is freezing, we've already pre-made a portion earlier on. All right, so for example, then I will put half in, okay, load it up, let's do 20 seconds, no temperature, get in, and off we go. Okay, let's stop. Right. Have a look. I will in add some that, and then add the rest. Okay. This we don't need. Simple as that. Okay. Now let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And then we add all of the digestives in. Okay. Mix that up. All right. Take it out. Okay. So it's like actually a cream cheesecake with uh, us using ricotta today. All right. And then I will send the, the Thermomix bowl back to wash. And we, it also comes with a spatula. All right, and then we'll add some of our wonderful ah, strawberry jam homemade you can make it as fine as you want okay and then we put it back in the fridge for 10 20 minutes to harden a bit if you like for those of you who cannot wait enjoy yourself directly off here so we have a strawberry jam previously made with the cookie dough recipe okay and then we have this and later we can scoop and serve it out with the digestive cracked and just put in casually. This goes off to the freezer and just so you say, Chef, how does it taste? Mmm, too good. Wow, very good stuff. So, thank you for tuning in. We hope to see you again on our next video presentation. This is Chef Martinho and on behalf of everyone at Thermomax here, we'd like to say thank you and happy cooking.